Guess what guys, Brian got me tea kettle and it's beautiful. I should, oh, I should hold it two hands so I don't break this one all over the kitchen floor as well. But this means I can have tea again. I just realized that my shorts match like my walls and the rest of my house. Maybe I should get more color variation in my life. I'm not sure. Oh yes, yeah, so I'm also using a fork to stir my tea because I'm a classy lady. Uh, I've spent the last 24 hours laid out on the couch just feeling terrible. Not throwing up, but almost throwing up. Uh, just riddled with body aches. I'm not sure if I had the flu or if I was just feeling terrible, but in any case, about an hour and a half ago, I started feeling magically better, so maybe uh, airborne, like my husband swears by, actually works. Well, hello there. Here I am, looking fabulous and not without color and washed out. Pretty sure I have the flu. Just sitting there thinking, why uh, does my body ache everywhere increasingly for no reason, and do I feel like throwing up, and like I'm congested and can't think straight, and oh, Brian had the flu a couple days ago. Perhaps. I am coming down with that. Superior mind powers. Just kidding, guys. So I've been trying to listen to my body and do what it's telling me to do, which is lay the hell down and not move. Oh, so I've been doing that all day, accomplishing a lot. Nothing. Taking Airborne, I don't know. Do you guys ever take this? My husband literally like swears by it. He makes me promise that I will take it every few hours. I don't know if it's like witchcraft or just a sugar pill, but um, he says it makes you get better a lot faster or not get sick, so fingers crossed. But I thought I would share with you guys these little notes. Again, this is not sponsored even remotely, but I got these from my cousin Erin. Um, she sent them to me shortly after I had surgery. And you can order them online and send them to people who are sick or having surgery. And I think it's a super sweet present. And they're like 30 bucks. They come in all different colors. And I'll show you exactly what they are. Because I thought I would open one today. And then I'm going to lay back down. Because sitting up to talk to the camera is a little too much. So, um, if you open up the jar, all different kinds of little notes inside. So what I'm gonna do is reach down and pick one out and see what wisdom it has to share with us today. So then they come in these tiny, adorable little envelopes. When life puts you in a tough situation, don't say why me, say try me. Ha! I like that. I wanna put that up somewhere. And they're all kind of stuff like that. You can actually write your own notes on them or you can go with like pre-written ones or you can kind of do a mix of the two. I'll put a link to what these are in the description. And then let me know what you guys do when you feel yourself getting super sick. And what I'm gonna do is drink Airborne, lay down, and watch Homeland. Hey everybody, it is Saturday, a day later now. I feel a little less like death. I did spend the morning on the couch, and then suddenly, out of nowhere, I felt a million percent better. So was that the 24-hour flu, or something random? I don't know. So I had a lot of requests for a full video on little Bridget, so I thought I would do a little further introducing her to you. Come here, girl. So this is, I just opened her cage door. And uh, she's thinking about coming out. She's not sure. I just woke her up in the middle of the day. Rats are actually nocturnal creatures. Here she comes. And so when I come up here in the afternoon or before it's dark, they usually take a moment to actually like warm up and wake up. But because I've been coming up at like three o'clock every day, they've been uh, waiting for me because they kind of get used to your schedule. So they are super sweet. I'll just reiterate the fact that they make amazing little pets. Oh, don't eat my liner. By the way, does everybody love my puppy paw extra large adult hospital socks? They've got stickies on both sides to make sure you don't fall. Um, I think attractive is the word that comes to mind when I think of these socks. What do you think? I was explaining to someone in the comment section the other day. He asked me if like, do rats bite? I've actually never had a rat that bit me and I've had over 10 rats over the course of many years. I started off because I saw two really like abnormally large rats crammed in a tiny little cage pet store and it like broke my heart. I couldn't stand seeing them like that. They looked really unhappy and so I asked Brian if I could bring them home. I knew that he hated rats. So this should be like a point in his favor for everybody because he had actually told me at one point, I know that you love animals, like always bring home whatever you want. Just please, please never bring home rats. They gross me out. And I saw these little guys and I was like, ah, I can't just leave them. And so I called him and he was like, okay, fine. 
oh, go for it, you know? And so I brought them home. Their names were Honey and Sarah. And someone had just like left them, like just dropped them off at the pet store. And so ever since then, I've always had rats because you're supposed to keep them in pairs of two. And you may be wondering then why does Bridget live alone? Um, she did have a friend. Her friend was named Betsy and actually died a couple months ago. And ever since then, I tried to get her a friend who actually ended up being Esme, who is now in the cage back there. And she just attacked her like badly. And I've introduced rats for years, you know, like I've always had two or three at a time and it just didn't work out. And I tried another one, which ended up being Delilah D that you see back there as well. And that didn't work out either. So Esme and Dee became cage mates and then Bridget got her own cage and is happy being alone. She's super cuddly. I take her out every day with me so that she gets uh, interaction. But I got Bridget from my um, sister-in-law actually. My sister-in-law had rat babies unexpectedly. And so she suddenly, instead of having two rats, she had like 20 and brought one down and that was little Bridget. Bridget was probably a quarter of the size when I got her. She brought her down from Wyoming for me and I raised her from a tiny little baby. Uh, rats are super easy to raise. You just have to handle them a lot, you know, feed them, take care of them, love them. And they became, they become lifelong little pets. Um, unfortunately, they only live like two or three years if you feed them really well and take really good care of them. So it's kind of heartbreaking to have them as pets because they pass away a lot, but um, like I said, I always end up just bringing more and more home because I see them at the pet store and they always look really sad and I know that snakes are going to be fed them if I don't bring them home and so my heart always ends up breaking and I end up bringing home more pets. That's why we have too many animals in this house and I don't even have my three dogs home right now. Soon, hopefully soon, really soon we're bringing them home. So that's a little more about little Bridget. She is super curious. She'll go around all the corners of the room and see like what there is to steal that day and bring back to her cage. That's her food bag that she's currently trying to break into. Bridget, Bridget, thank you. Um, That's her cage, so I get them pretty big cages. I like give them space to go home to. You going back home? Nah, uh, not yet. So Brian decided this year that we were gonna do Christmas cards and I am a terrible person. I don't do Christmas cards. I like receiving Christmas cards. I just never really write them. So we are doing them this year. And uh, we have two options and I agreed to not write the cards but to address all of the envelopes. So that is what I'm gonna be doing this year, this afternoon. This is card option one. Here we have card option two. I don't know, I'd say Brian does a pretty awesome job of picking out cards, what do you think? Oh, don't, 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 nope, this is my copy. Don't worry, I won't let her eat your copy. This is a good uh, good time to announce the winners of the book, not competition, the book drawing. Um, so I did a video earlier this week. Don't eat these, don't. Bridget's trying to eat these. It just can't be good for rats. For this book, we did a um, entry. All you had to do is enter five things that you think are happy things that make you smile. So this book is 14,000 things to be happy about. You can find it on Amazon for, I think it's like 10 or 15 bucks. I'll post a link in the description. But the winner of this book is, drum roll please. If my editing skills are on point, the winner should appear in this little window right here. If not, you all can laugh at me. Congratulations, it's Simply L. I'll get a hold of you and make sure that I get this book to you. The five things that she found happy are knitting, mini Lego figures, coffee, Starbucks collector mugs, I'm sensing a pattern here, and pour over coffee and grinding said coffee for said pour over. That's awesome. And those things brought me joy and reading all of your things brought me joy. Don't eat my ears or my earrings, Bridget. Um, so thank you guys for entering. I'm looking, uh, I would love to do a book giveaway again in the future sometime. If that's something you guys are interested in, leave me a message in the comments to let me know. Yeah. And if you would like more pet centric videos, let me and Bridget know. You're on camera, Bridget. You're a star! So here are a few of my things to be happy about. Uh, just random little sketches like rat noses, the way rats hold their paws, and new mugs, and hot coffee, candy canes, colors, bows, things like that. I'm gonna keep filling in this page, but that book really got me thinking and um, just wanna kinda focus on being more present in the things that I'm happy about and grateful for. Um, and those can be just kind of like the simplest, most ridiculous little things like a lit candle. So that is what I am working on. Uh, let me know some of the things that you guys are journaling or drawing in the comment section below. Thanks guys.